and on to race number nine. Now the last is a good race too and it's over the 1,000 metres. Class two event, Wizkid, a winner of four from five. Course and distance, handsome Bobo. On the class drop draws, barrier number one. Astrologer, last start winner, comes down to class two, carries an extra 17 pounds for the victory. Carroll Street's a last start winner. He has an extra six on his back. Grateful Heart carries an extra nine pounds for the second to Astrologer. Toronado Phantom coming back from the 1,400 metres. Harmony and Rich is a three-time winner course and distance. We've got Power Kep, who's had a stable change since his last start. He's gone from John Size to Manfred Mann. Manfred's taken the blinkers off. Rock Your Hearts placed two from two course and distance, and We the South pulled up lame last time, but is a seven-time winner over the distance of 1,000 metres. The speed map here next, so we know they always go good to fast. And Wizkid from Barry number two might not have to do the work he did from gate five last time. Absolutely. And look, I think this race is set up for him to lead. And I think he'll lead as he likes, to be fair, because he's drawn a good gate. He's, he's got plenty of natural um, boot early on. So expect Wizkid to, to go and lead. Um, Rock Your Heart, I don't think, will be a million miles away. He's drawn in six and you know, can sit handy. Uh, we the South knows his way around here blindfold. He'll also be in a, a prominent spot, but he is drawn wide. So... Um, he might just have to sort of uh, work a little bit from the outside. And Harmony and Rich there, Paul, uh, he's another one who, uh, who's drawn a good gate. But um, I think it's I think it's Wizkid's lead here. Yeah, I agree. Look, it, we the South might want to press on and try and get outside him, but if he does, he's going to have to work exceptionally hard. Mm. And Wizkid has got an extra gear. He can just keep going forward. Astrologer gets back. He should get the race run to suit. Grateful Hard at the back there as well. Another one they'll get the race run to suit. And Toronado Phantom, he's coming way back in trip. So he's back. Carroll Street, I don't know about him at Happy Valley, but he, he gets back. We're about to find out more about Carroll Street. Uh, just before that, it's two starts ago. Wizkid ran at Happy Valley from barrier number nine. He did that early work. He's since run from barrier five down the straight at Sha Tin. Speaking of down the straight at Sha Tin, Carroll Street. He won over the straight course last time to see if Karras has any concerns about the valley. He spoke to Nick. Karras Teton, Carroll Street is one of your rides on Wednesday night. Um, did a good job after a lengthy absence last time at, at Sha Tin. Um, it was a good performance, wasn't it? Yes, uh, yes, Nick. It was a nice performance from him. Uh, of course, after being uh, uh, away from racing for almost eight months, I think, and uh, he did it pretty nicely. He just, he just won the race, but I think... Uh, there's improvement coming. Yeah, 259 days um, to be precise. Um, the big question, Karis, however, is Happy Valley. Now, he's had a few goes here. Um, there was some um, sort of quotes and, and an article online suggesting that the programme has obviously led him this way. As his rider, what's, what's your take on him going around the tighter turns? Yeah, I've, I've saw he had a few run at the valley. Uh, of course, uh, you know, of course, listening to Daggy also, there's not much for horses like him on the program over 1,000 meters. So you have to take, uh, make a choice with him to take him to the valley. But I think he'll be fine. He's got a nice draw. I think there's a lot of speed in the race, so that will help uh, them stretch out a bit. Uh, he should be fine. I think if he gets, the, if he gets a nice run at, uh, behind them, uh, I think he should give us his best. From your experience here, Karis, of course, you know, we do see horses trend more towards a service. I mean, one recently for you has been Adafil, who's found a home on the all-weather. But is there a big jump from going from, say, Chart into Happy Valley and vice versa, in your opinion? Or, or, or is it, you know, sort of doable for a horse to switch, switch tracks? Uh, I think yeah, there's a big difference. Many horses, uh, they, can, they can run uh, three, four lengths behind a Chart mm. And, uh, and you take them to Happy Valley, and then they suddenly feel a bit more confidence. I don't know if it's just because the track is tiny and uh, maybe a little bit more cushion to at the valley. So, yeah, it's, they can feel a bit more uh, comfortable on that track. Um, also, it's different speed, you know. But uh, I think this horse, he's, he's run there before. He's, I think it's going to go well. All in all, if he does handle it, you'll be confident of the big run. Yeah, I think so. All right, that's Karras's thoughts. Paul, here is this uh, run last time down the straight at uh, Sha Tin. That's Carroll Street up against the outside rail. Wizkid's also in this field, but he does race better around Happy Valley, whereas Carroll Street has raced better at Sha Tin. Yeah, he does a lot better, doesn't he? And look, he has one second up in the past, Carroll Street, but he's had that massive break, hasn't he? And then he's had this one run, uh, and I just don't know about him coming back to Happy Valley second up. It looks like the program's dictated that way. So it worries me about that. Wizkid didn't lead here and didn't look comfortable down here. He's one that does look comfortable at Happy Valley. He certainly does, yeah. Four from five course. And there's one thing Carroll Street did do on that occasion. He travelled so well. He just travelled. But when he actually let him down, he probably didn't find as much as you would have hoped for. But hopefully he doesn't suffer from the dreaded bounce factor, as Paul alludes to, after such a lengthy break. But 
He's a decent type. There's his report card, and as you can see, Paul, three starts to Tappy Valley for nothing at this stage. Yeah, look, I'm going to leave him out. I, I just, just, I'm just worried about him back at Happy Valley, second up after a big break. What about you, Nick? And any concerns around yeah. the, the valley? <laughs> of course, naturally. Yeah. Um, but I have actually, I've, I've got him in. Okay. Um, but look, I'll give him a chance. But he won't get too many if he fails to perform this time. All right, that's a look at Carroll Street. Here is some Happy Valley form. Nick, this is astrologer from way back in the field. We've also got Grateful Heart. He is behind astrologer at this stage. Handsome Bobo has a good draw and will get a good trip off uh, that speed. Keep he warms down on the rail and Harmony and Rich. He's been back to the trials and they rode him off the pace in that trial and he did run on to win but uh, Astrologer has a hell of a lot more weight to carry this week. He does, doesn't he? I mean, just touching on the, the, the sort of the latter three mentioned, Hanson Bobo, I think, is probably a bit high in the weights. Keep you warm and harmony rich. I, I struggle to get too uh, enthused about, but uh, Astrologer was very good on this occasion, but um, he does have more weight to carry, Paul. But bear in mind, this was a class one. He, he's meeting, you know, lesser rivals, if you will, in a class two. He's a good horse um, yeah. around Happy Valley. He's a four time winner from his 14 starts here in Hong Kong. And I really like the way he hit the line. He sort of uh, had plenty in hand there as well. I know he's up in weight, but I think he's a big chance. I don't mind Grateful Heart as well. Mm. I think he's getting to a, a winnable rating as well. OK, what about the trial, Paul, from Astrologer? He certainly appears to have come through the, the win. Well, he's gone back to the all weather and done this. Yeah, and he, look, he's a very fit horse coming into this race. Look, Pyong hasn't had him that long, Astrologer as well. But the horse is going really well at the moment. Yeah, I think he's one of the leading chances, so... He's definitely included. I've got one to beat him, but he's 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 a Quinella horse for me. Yeah, look, he, I think he's got a, a, a serious chance here. Certainly got him high in my numbers as well. And Trials just confirmed his well-being on the back of what was a good win. Two lengths over Grateful Heart, who I do agree with Paul. Um, certainly looks well enough placed, I think, to win. And, and Chris Sowe's got his team going well. But Astrologer's got to be a life chance. That trial is behind the impressive Dragon's Luck too, so nothing wrong with the horse that beat him and neither were pushed out. We heard uh, Nick Paul mention Toronado Phantom coming way back in trip. Here is his win. This was uh, over the 1,200 metres. Rock Your Heart doesn't know how to go a bad race. Certainly in the last few starts, he's started to find some form again. Power Kip doesn't get much room, and so much so he's had a power a stable change has Power Kip. He has indeed, yes. He's, he's gone across to Manfred Mass. So a, a bit strange uh, not seeing uh, Jay Size next to his name on the race card. But um, the one I really like out of this is Rock Your Heart. He's had two goes course and distance. He's run second in both of them. Um, always turns up, runs a race. So, look, I think his form is good enough to win this. And um, Toronado Phantom, he's obviously got a bit more to do, Paul, but he, he has won a couple here over uh, a slightly further trip. Yeah, the distance is just a little bit of a worry mm. for him. Um, the, the query I've got with Rock Your Heart is the class. He's had 10 goes in it. He's been playing numerous times, he just hasn't won in this class. Is this the same sort of issue that Special M might have, Paul? Now we know he loves the thousand metres around Happy Valley. Here he is. This was on the 8th of February, went 56.47 in winning. Chases down Super Commander who sets up a good pace, but then he does have to come up in grade as well. Yeah, he does. He, he's got to come up as well. The, the, the offshoot is he gets a light weight. He's just got an awkward draw. He might just be a little bit further back than he would, would like, because if he does go forward, he could be wide. I think because he's so genuine around here and, and really does love racing at Happy Valley, you, you've got to give him some sort of chance. I struggle to find a spot for him, uh, given that he is up in grade, but um, look, he's a horse who will give his running. Second time in Class 2 for Special, and Matthew Poon on board and takes a minor weight claim of a couple of pounds as well. But Wizkid back to the Valley and back to the winner's list, Paul. Yeah, I think he can win this. Look, he's won four from five. Uh, the one time he did get beaten, he was taken on all the way from Classic Unicorn, uh, there was another horse in the race, and he was three wide from Barrier Nine the whole way, and he just didn't—he just didn't finish it off. So, look, now he's going to get the, the the lead, I think, by himself from a low draw. He's going to carry 135, but he's—he's he's actually won off 133 in the past. So, the weight doesn't worry me too much. Astrologer, look, he's going to get back. He'll be running on. Rocky Hart's consistent uh, as well, so he goes in. And Grateful Heart, I mean, his last win was off a rating of 92, and he's down at 87, so he's well rated as well. So good race to finish, 1, 3, 10 and 5. Yeah, I'm going to go Rocky Hart here. As Paul touched upon there, he's been placed numerous times in the grade. I think it's only a matter of time before he can break through. He's not a prolific winner by any stretch, just two from 21, but his recent form has been good and he's, he's got a lighter weight than some. So we'll go with him on top. Over Astrologer, who uh, raced really well last time when winning, has trialled nicely since then. Carroll Street, look, I'll put him in. I'll give him a chance. He's going to go around at a decent price, I reckon, given that uh, local form at Happy Valley. But if he can... Uh, bring his best charts in for him. He's definitely a chance. And Wizkid, uh, he'll lead. Uh, he'll certainly give his running. Big weights are concerned, but he does love it round here. 10-3, 4-1 for me.